Hey man, I don't know about you guys, but whatever her name was that was trying to give Naruto, you know, a little kiss, right? I mean, I'd happily take places. I mean, he don't want none of that, right? You know, I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I guess he's saving it for soccer, you know, since he still likes her, but you know, I mean, <sighs> give me her number, or something like. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm here. I do not care about the consequences. I am here. It does not matter. I mean, the way how she appearing out of nowhere, it's like perfect. It's like, I see you wherever I go. You will not let me escape. <laughs> perfect. Like, you know, I, that's all I'm going to say. But for real, though, for real, um, yeah, we got to see four new interesting characters in the last four episodes. Um, one that literally has like a whole map and can just change whatever she wants to in real time. So, like, if she was literally tracking you down, like, Psy, then, yeah, she would able to be able to actually, like, trap you, you know, in certain parts and eventually until she finally just, you know, leaves you with no exit but, like, above. But, you know, she's going to be up there and, yeah, ready to attack you, right? Um, then we have one guy that can, like, what, crystallize himself or, like, harden himself? I, I don't know what exactly was supposed to be meant there because you know he's kind of shining right in certain parts so i'm pretty sure it's most likely just hardening right but you yeah, will find out later but uh yeah let's see how we deal with this um yeah hopefully they don't get whatever ritual whatever they're trying to do right now finish um and yeah hope because yeah this is not no d-rank mission like yeah we need to get this done now um it's always something like that. It's always a D rank, C rank, and it turns into be a whole S class mission. Like, come on now. But other than that, though, if you guys will enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get this reaction started. Yo, dang! That laugh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> the aroma of the soil from Lord Kitani's hidden tomb. The tomb. You are the grave robber. Yeah. Now he gone. Dang. Okay. What does he have right there? Nah, but <laughs> that laugh was kind of crazy. You so like he was dying. All right, I see that boy's sore. Okay. Oh, he can't take his blade off. Okay, no. Nah. He probably stuck it on there himself. Uh, the other guy here, the old guy, I don't know what his name is. But now, <laughs> had to stop it, eat a potato. Now that, fine if I just dust him off a bit. that can't be the same one. Nah, it's gotta be a clone. Yeah, come on now. Nar Naruto better than that. Or no, she's ready? She got win as well. That makes all five then, right? Yeah. She's used all five. Yes, earth, fire, water, then lightning. What? There's got to be a trick to that, because if not, she crazy. Oh, I want to know the mysteries. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Teach me thoroughly. Sakes, lady. That's one mystery I'm really not interested in. 
<laughs> yeah, he's not interested in that. Yo. Yeah, this is gonna be troublesome. She could just disappear and reappear. Oh! What was that? Hit him with like a five finger. I don't even know. I think it's about time you stopped playing around and show me your true power. Oh, yo! Look at that. What is this? That's what his hand looks like for real. This feeling. Yeah. So I think he, like, like how Jiraiya did with Naruto, basically like released a seal or something, right? Or no, I think that's something else, but still, he released something. Dang! Just throwing that at him. Okay. Oh, pushing himself towards her? Nah? He's still going? There we go. What? <laughs> what was that, a clone or something? Yeah. Cut her hair? That's probably what was going on there. You have no respect for women, do you, boy? And now you're going to pay for it. Oh, I don't know about that. Now she she can have her kiss and all that. Uh, that Hold up. <laughs> she looking different now. Oh. Was she petrifying him? What? And he can't even move. And now it's back to normal. Okay. Yeah, you did all this. That power is crazy. So, use those bodies for the good of the land. Now, I gotta know a little bit more than that. Holding you as a baby? As a baby? I know your father. Oh. What did you just say? Knows his father. Reaper kiss. Reaper. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he couldn't do nothing. And he blacked out. At least those pupils, yeah, they're gone. Yo! He can, like, feel what... What type of... Yo! He can feel what's going on with Naruto. I got you. I got oh, Yamato ears as well. We won't let you interfere. First time, Stone Pillar Prison Jutsu. Yeah, you can't take that nine tails. You cannot take that. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. It's like she started taking it at first. That nine tails interfere. Can't do nothing with that. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like there won't be a fight. Whatever's going on here. Sorry, we're late. Oh, help has arrived. 
Alright. Now what are you gonna do? Shouldn't we be making our move? Absolutely. There's no need to stall for time. Make their move. Oh, and that's it. Okay, well, yeah, Sora just has to decide. No, okay, yeah, that's it. But uh, he has to decide now, even though I'm pretty much pretty sure. No, like, yeah, he's going to be going with them back to the leaf. Yeah, that was unexpected turn of events. I thought they actually would have finished this mission, but I guess since now that they are gone, they really can't finish it. Um... Because if Naruto and Sora did go against them, I mean, I feel like they probably, yeah, they would be able to do a little something. Um, but I don't know. I, I feel like there still would have been some type of interference to where they would have ended up escaping the four of them. Um, and then after that, yeah, now we have to go back to the leaf anyways. But now they're bringing Sora along and... How Yamato's thinking right now, like all those traps and everything that was going on, it's like most likely for Sora, you know, because whoever this old guy was, it's like he was literally waiting for him, right? And he was like, Sora, come here, my boy, like, you know, um, as if they just knew each other. Um, I mean, he knows his father, so technically, but. And uh, I think he did say, um, what was it? He was holding him as a baby or something, or he knew him since he was a baby. So, Sora wouldn't be able to remember that, obviously. Um, but he would, right? And, I mean, yeah, it seems like what they're doing is good and bad at the same time. It's... I'll say, well, I'll say it's bad first because, I mean, you're literally disrupting someone's, like, literal, like, just tomb. Like, their grave and all. It's, like, messing with bodies, right? So they can't even rest in peace right now knowing uh, if they do know, right? Um, I mean, their body's literally getting messed with right now, right? Just moved. Um... But then good because apparently he's trying to help out the land of fire. So that's what he says. It's for the good of the land, right? Um, and then also he's trying to get Sword to use this, you know, unknown power for the good of the land as well. But like... Yeah, I mean, what what's the actual motive, you know? It, there's got to be something else for you to be doing all this. And if that is the reason, then okay, right? I'm not going to say anything, but... Nah, that, that power is definitely crazy. It's like... Yeah, he literally created... Because let me say, yeah. Like, I knew it was bandaged up for a reason... Even if it was like a actual regular arm afterwards, but still, it's like there's something up with that. Um, but yeah, it created all of this as if it was like, yeah, Naruto in Nine Tails form, you know, creating a whole little crater or something. Um, and also, yeah, one more thing it's like, how did he know? Naruto was in pain, like, he felt that. It's like, he could tell Naruto was in trouble, and he went straight towards him, so... I'm trying to think back, but I really do not remember... Anything about them being linked together. Um, and this is a crazy guess right here. Which I think will probably be wrong. Now, yeah, I don't know, but... I know it sounds so crazy, but, like, would he be a Jinjuriki as well? I, I don't know. That's... I know that's probably obviously way out there. Um, But it's like, can Jinjuriki basically sense others, right? But really, I don't think that's the case here. But... 
I don't know. Hey, <laughs> the most wildest guess and craziest ideas are probably right sometimes. I don't know, but I'm not going to go along with that. I'm just putting it out there. Um, but nah, speaking of Jinjuriki, yeah, like he did that like five finger. Like it looked the same. Like, um, if I can find it here. Let's see. Just like Jiraiya. Oh, it was, yeah, right here. Yeah. It's like, um, when Orochimaru, yeah, he put, like, some type of seal or whatever he did, uh, like, way back in the force, right? Tuning exams. And then Jiraiya, he did, like, the same thing. Some five-finger pronged seal or something. And hit naruto with it and then now he's just fine right um so that looked like the same thing here to where he released something and now he can really unleash this power right but yeah we're we'll have to get more into that later um because we got this one more episode but i don't know yeah let's just get on with this next episode He's gonna get on her bad side. I'll pay her my respects. Yeah. Naruto, Sakura, bring in Sora, will you? Yeah, bring him in. See you later, Asuma Sensei. Hey. But yeah, Asuma, yeah, can't wait to see even more about him. Right? Yeah, we're getting some story on him. Yeah, just want to see a lot more, knowing he's the uh, third Hokage's son here, right? Dang! I, I told you. He was gonna get on her bad side. Look at that. It was even a second. Dang! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just need to be quiet. And see, like, Asuma knows about him. He's grown up. Come on, Sai. I have to get you to the hospital. Yeah, come on, though. The village is gonna be yours. But don't think I'll go easy on you. Nah, don't, don't be messing with Akamaru. Now he's in a stare down with Akamaru? Come on, guys. Can't we all just get along? Put out, fat so. Oh. Call him fat? What is he gonna do about it? But to tear you up. <laughs> I'll say he is all alone. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Is that that boy Lee? Oh no, here we go. Okay. Gotta add some more to it. I'm like, what is this random? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome, I'm gonna join it. <laughs> Yo. What? This is going to take... Oh, no, he just stopped them all. Yeah, that would have took days and nights. Like, a while. Some of the fiercest shinobi in the land of fire. The fiercest shinobi. I kind of like how this one looks, though. Like... This unique got the water falling down, yeah. What? Yeah, it looks unique. If you come across any with a wind chakra nature, wind? Okay. Nah, I gotta see what she's all about, cause five natures, all five. 
Nah. Okay, well, looking at that, yeah, they, um, I mean, obviously I knew they weren't good at first, but I'm like, yeah, they could, um, if he did really mean what he said, then somehow he could have a little good in him, but naturally looking at this, it's like, yeah, I mean, like, let me see, I literally just gotta go back a few seconds, L look at that, ate the potato raw, too, that is not cooked, um, look at that. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Demonic look. Like, I got fangs for teeth. Like, nah. Come on now. But. Yeah, it seems like that's about it. Um, And, well, yeah, here you, go, here you go, Naruto. Perfect training. You know, at first he had to basically cut the leaf. Um, And, then, you know, that's good and all. But also simply applying it to weapons applying that wind it's like that'll be perfect as well because you can actually at least get used to applying that chakra to something and sharpening it to the point to where it can go not only through a tree but you know through a boulder as well right and maybe even something stronger more um like thicker right in size you know like just some massive wall or something because yeah, the boulder, I mean, it does look big, but it's like, you know, it'll probably be easier to go through as well, because the boulder has been sitting there, um, so, you know, it could have gotten weaker over time, and, uh, you know, same thing with a wall, right, you know, obviously a wall will get weaker over time, but, you know, just, like, how, um, massive it could be, you know, just the size of it and everything, it's like, yeah, who knows, it may be even more difficult just to go through that, right? Um, depending on what the wall is made of. Um, and it don't even gotta be a wall, it could be the ground too. Like, yeah, how far in the ground can you do it? Nah, the ground. Yeah, I got that. But, yeah, we are getting a lot more Asuma. And, yeah, kind of actually much needed as well. Yeah, I want to see more of these team leaders, or used to be team leaders, because now everybody is ch either tuning or joning. And, you know, they don't need someone like Asuma Kakashi to be leading them anymore. You know, they, um, like how Asuma said, they are leading their own teams, or they're at least a part of a team with completely random leaders you know so you know you could have uh yamato as a leader then you could have kakashi as a leader asuma it's like it's just going to be different leaders um on these missions that you're going to have right um unless you were personally assigned by the hokage to you know have your own team but yeah like this um and I was thinking of something. No, never mind. Yeah, but yes, yeah, so I want to see these uh, Joni, yeah, K uh, Kurunai, yeah, definitely see them um, more in action, see more of their story, and yeah, I know I'm gonna see that later on. But I like this. It's just strictly the boys, right? <laughs> like we get to see the boys. Rock Lee came out of nowhere. Like that was. This has got to be the most random thing. It's like, I get Kiba popping up, but then you got Choji, Shikamaru. Then we got them all fighting, like, bro. Then we got Lee come out of nowhere. It's like, bro. <laughs> this is all just crazy. But, uh, yeah, that, um... That's about it. Yeah, obviously, like, I knew Sora was going to come to the village. And, yeah, if they want to... Yeah, and if there's something similar to, like, how Naruto is with the Akatsuki, it's like, yeah, better safe at the village where they at least have someone like Naruto with the same situation. You know, someone, like, like a group of people trying to go after them or go after that one person. 
yeah, better to have that, right, than him still be at the temple or not. Well, actually, yeah, same thing. <laughs> fire temple, whatever, land of fire. And, um, yeah, just like, yeah, unfortunately, he just gets taken and then now they just force him to use his power or something. Um, I still want to know why they were looking at him so weird. I mean, yeah, it's it's like they they see him as a person, so it's it's like it's fine, you know. They view him as an actual person, so I I get that. Um, it's not like they just hate him or despise of him. It's just the looks they be giving him and it's like I don't know it's like there's something they don't like about him but I just don't know yet yeah I mean the only explanation I can see is just that power that he has but still even at that it looks like he it, it looks like there's no condition to where he'll just release it like he he really does really just release that power on his own, at least releasing like the palm, right? Or at least the literal hand. But I mean, I don't see no condition to where it's like, yeah, his emotion forces him to just release something. But yeah, we had to just get to all of that later on. So um, yeah, that's about it for these two episodes. So yeah, just get on to the next four. I know they're going to have something definitely good in store for us there. So, yeah, other than that, though, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like and subscribe again. I will see you guys in the next one.